Okay, everyone, we are doing a different kind of video today. This is going to be a vlog, taking you shopping with me on a couple of little places to see how I shop for my baskets. Where first stop is Dollar Tree. Let's go. This is one of my favorite Dollar Trees, but they have these little scrunchies, these little barrettes. Oh, look at this. This is cute. Headbands. This scrunchie is pretty. Okay. Oh, Jay, hold that. I love these for my ponytails. And normally I get the black ones, but I like these because they don't pull your hair. Oh, they even have these. I like these too. You would think I had a little girl. They have a planner. It's nice. Yep, they have the big mechanical pencils and the pens. I like these. Let's see. Oh, I like these for when I'm crafting. to get one of these to plan my channel. Maybe I will. Alright, let's see. Sharpies. Dollar Tree really have stepped their game up when it comes to name brand school supplies. I'm gonna oh this is a cute ruler I like this Good. look at this little keychain stuff little paper Some little organizing boxes. This would be nice for my, I don't know, small stuff for my crafts, my basket. Maybe tape. Racers. Position books. Oh, look at this one. It's so cute with the puppy. That's cute. Let's come back over here. Sorry. Okay, so they've got fall flowers. I try to usually get the ones like this. And typically, what I use the Dollar Tree flowers for are like fillers. I like the Walmart ones better, and sometimes they're a little cheaper, but I use the Dollar Tree as fillers, and I like this one. I like the color. It's pretty. And here are those leaves that I had. I'm going to get some more of those. They have the little plaques. 
for the kitchen. And it's pretty thick for a dollar twenty-five. Let's see. I might get one. I'm trying to be very I don't like the Hello Autumn one as much as I like this one. Oh sweet fall. make sure whatever I get I use fresh apple cider I like this I think I will get this one look at this how pretty it is this is nice okay guys I had to get out of that one aisle I was in. People were crowding me and it was getting on my nerves. But this is how I get those big mugs with the wide mouth. They have them in white. Um, I kind of don't like the ones with the ribs. It reminds me of a solo cup. But look down here, they have the black. I think I'm gonna get this for an upcoming video that I have. They have it on red. Look at the I like those. The glasses, like the beer mugs. I would use those. I think this is cute. Enjoy the journey. That's a nice plate. And if you wanted to do another breakfast video, this is just an idea. You could do the bowl. You could do the mug. It's dusty. You could do the bowl, the mug. I don't see the plate, but you can try to find. I know the other stores have the plates, the black plates, but you could do something like that and just do a breakfast one, get two. You know, you would have to do a big um, box or container to put it in, but that would be a nice one. You can do a clear one. I know they used to have the, well, this one doesn't, but I'm, see, it's like mix and match with Dollar Tree so they got the clear glass bowls um, I know another Dollar Tree some of them will have the clear glass coffee mug you can do that with the small plate and I don't think they have the bigger plates in the clear but I know some of them do there this one I don't know why I said it was my favorite Dollar Tree because it suddenly is not because they don't have anything. They used to have a lot and different items, but I guess, you know, they have to do some restocking. So that's, it's not all that bad, but um, this is their line of glasses. You can do a nice for Valentine's Day. You can do a bottle of wine with two glasses like just different ideas but this is this is how I get a lot of my items hey everyone welcome back to VC's craft world I am here I um as you saw in the earlier clip I was in Dollar Tree I was today was a day of me um just out and about and shopping um trying to look for things for the upcoming holiday months 
um, that are approaching. And just, um, I have several baskets that I really need to do. I need to do um, a couple of baby baskets uh, for baby showers. And then I also have a couple of birthdays that I need to do. So um, I was just out and about shopping, just looking for items for those baskets um, so I can just knock them out along with the a couple of school baskets that I want to do. So I have kind of like a little haul. Um, I found some things <clears throat> at Dollar Tree today. Nothing major, nothing different than I, I don't think than what you've already seen. Um, of course, I got more leaves. I bought more leaves because I think these are so cute. It adds a nice little touch um, to you know, embellish your baskets with uh, for the fall festivals that I have coming up. I ended up getting some more um, of the foam. I like this for my boxes and sometimes at the end of, you know, the bottom of my basket, especially when I want to add flowers. So I didn't go into buying a lot of flowers today at Dollar Tree because I want to go to Walmart and I didn't get a chance to go to Walmart. But I saw these and I thought they were so pretty. So I picked those up. I want to go back and get some more um, because I think this will be so pretty in a fall wreath. I'm, I have that to do as well. Um, but this will be so cute in a wreath. Uh, let's see. And a fall basket. Let's see. You don't want to see my snacks. I got this ruler um, because I thought it was cute and sparkly. I did pick that up. And then I just like to do self-care. Even though I get pedicures, I still like to do my self-care in between. So I just got like a little pumice brush for that. Next. Um, so let's see. Some of this stuff you might have already saw me putting it in the basket like this. I picked that up. This is good for my crafting. I'm going to start um, going back to doing my little um, wood rounds for the front door or even for wreaths. So I bought that. That helps get a nice little um, circle. I just bought this. I, I know that it's cheaper to buy the bigger um, bag and I actually have it in my craft room stored back in the corner that I can't get to. But when I'm down here making baskets, I just want to get to this right here, right now. So I just bought these just to help me do that. Um, I thought this was super cute. So in my kitchen, <clears throat> I have a little coffee bar and I have, I just like to change it out for different seasons. So I'm gonna start getting little knickknacks like this to add to it for the fall. Um, I love, 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 love apple cider and I love it fresh. I'm originally from Michigan. So back home, we used to always, it was like a tradition every fall to go to the cider mill and they would have like, of course, the fresh cider, the apples, all apples in all kind of way. They would have um, caramel apples. Um, they would have fried donuts that was so good. So I do miss that here. I think we do have a couple in North Carolina, but I've not found them. So, you know, I just kind of miss that. But this reminded me of that. So I'm going to put this on my little, um, I have a two-tiered rack. No, is it three? Three-tiered rack in my kitchen. So I'm going to display that on the, um, the three-tiered rack. And I will show you once I have everything that I want, I will show you how that turned out. So I did buy, I didn't buy all of the little hair pieces, but, or not hair pieces, but hair, um, you know, rubber bands, scrunchie. I just bought these. So got those. I picked this up because I take my pictures on a high top table and the high top table, so I have, I use the little foam cardboard and you know, the white one, and it does not cover. It's a round table. Of course, the foam is like triangle, so it doesn't cover. So I'm gonna put this on the bottom. I mean, yeah, put this on the bottom.
put this on the bottom and then put the cardboard on top so that the brown part of the table is covered. So I picked that up today. And that's when I take pictures for my thumbnail and for um, do my small little short videos. I found a couple of simple cookbooks and I thought that these would be so cute. Ugh. Sorry, my phone is trying to give out on me. I don't wanna get this filmed really quick. So I found a couple of cute little cookbooks. Um, one is Breakfast Made Simple. That would have been really cute for my breakfast, Christmas morning breakfast. But we're gonna do other breakfast baskets for Christmas in other ways. So this will be a cute um, add on. And then um, I found this. Since we're going into the soup season, the fall, the cool weather, I thought that this was cute. So if I can find a couple more, I would like to do soup baskets as well. Or get well. And then I ended up picking up the black mug because I have a basket coming up that I really want to add this to. So that was that for the Dollar Tree. I guess it's a kind of haul or fines, so I'll, I'll say fines, because it's not a haul. So that's that. Then I went to, this is where it went south. I went to, so I went to Target and found, I went to, you know how they have the little $5 section up front and they had these bar tools that are so cute, too cute. So I love those. And it gave me an idea for a basket. Then I came across this folding tray for $5. It has the little legs that pull out so I picked this up because it's so cute and they have it like a little charcuterie board on top. Let's see. The $5 section was everything. When I say everything, it was everything. And this was a different Target that I normally, I've never been in. So then look at this, $5. Look at the, oh, you, you can't see it. The tag is missing, but this was in the $5 section. So that along with da, 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 this, look at this. Can you see it? $5. Like, is this not a cute Christmas basket idea to go along with this for bar tools. You can, and it has the gold trimming already. So you can, and these are gold. Oh, I can't wait. They didn't have any more. And I'm super sad that I couldn't find any more, but I am, trust me, this weekend on a mission to go out and find more of these at the top. I mean, listen, $15, but you can sell this for easy, especially if you get like a pint of cognac or something like that, or even two, you can sell this for easy, $75, $80, all day long, all day long. I'm just saying, basket makers, it is a deal. I was so happy when I found that. So I've got big plans for that. Stay tuned. And let's see, the last thing that I found, they had these little wooden, this was $5 as well. They had these little wooden boxes. And this is cute because you can add, um, like if you find the little glass, bottles of coca-cola like from back in the day or sprite and add to it um just different things you can use it for tools you can use it as a bread box and put like your cheeses and bread and crackers like it's so much that you could do with this so i'm super excited and like i said i want to find more of these as well so so 
Target five dollar spot. I'm coming. I'm coming. All right. Last but not least, I did my Dollar General business today. I didn't find like everything. For some reason, my stores never have like everything that um, I follow Chrissy's Creations, I think it is. And I never find everything on that list. However, I did go this afternoon and not first thing this morning. I found one, two, three, four, five, six, six of these. Are they all medium roast? Yeah. I found six of these coffee K-cups for a penny. I was super excited. This was like my woohoo moment of the day. Six for a penny. So yes, I jumped on that. So I got those. These will be nice in gifts and they would also be nice in my kitchen for the winter months. So in the summer months, I drink fraps, cold coffee, but in the winter, I need to stay warm and I am all about the hot coffee. So I will definitely put good use to those myself. I'll probably use three, sell three. And last year I found some really cute items in the Target um, $5 section. I found this cute little, it looked like a, it was black and it will, it looked like a, I don't know, like a, a tall spout with the, a, a handle and, but it was really for the K cups. So you take them out of the box and just kind of dump them in there and then it could just sit on the counter. Super cute, super cute gift. I wish I would have filmed that. They also had these for a penny as well. I wasn't sure if these could fit in my, sorry. Oh yeah, that's right. I wasn't sure if these would fit in my Keurig. So I only got one. I should have probably read, but at this point I was ready to go get out of the store and a penny, I'll try it. If not, it will definitely go for a gift. And then of course I found these, the little individual um, coffee mates. These were a penny as well. That was all they had was the one box. But I think I'm happy. I'm pretty pleased with what I got today. I'm super excited about the Target haul more so than anything else. But I just wanted to come on, kind of do something different, take you guys <clears throat> shopping and kind of show you how I look and scan for deals. Um, we'll do it again uh, probably a couple more times coming up. Um, but and just show you how I look for deals. Um, of course, today was pity day for Dollar General, so it was a good day to be out. Although I had to stop filming in the store. I did go in Gabe's. I didn't see anything in Gabe's at all um, that sparked my interest. But that doesn't mean that I won't go back. I will definitely go back. They had a lot of fall Halloween items out already. So I will definitely go back. But they had a lot of the stores had music playing and I just I didn't want to risk, you know, getting monetized. So I stopped filming in the store and figured whatever I buy, I'll just come home and show you in a haul. That's it. Just a quick, simple video showing you what I purchased today. I had a really good day out. It was beautiful outside. Of course, hot, not complaining at all, but it was a great day. Um, I did find some really good finds and I will be out again, like I said, this weekend coming up. So please be sure to comment, share, subscribe. Let me know what you think about the items that I found, um, especially the Target stuff. I really, really like everything that I bought at Target. Like I said, those glass jars, I really, I'm on a hunt and you guys should be too to go try to find those if you're interested in a basket like that. But thank you so much for watching this video. Have a great rest of your evening as I know I will. And goodbye. Mm -hmm.